The Real McCoys. Starring Walter Brennan. Created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grand Pappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy since he may take Mrs. Luke McCoy. From West Virginia they came to stay in sunny California. Old Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family known as the Real McCoys. These cakes pick a little the judges are tasting now. good, but her eyes is watering a little. I told Kate not to put too much vinegar in it. Your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. The judging for the preserves has been completed, and here are your results. In third place, for her apricot a la Cincinnati, Mrs. Flater Ward. <laughs> She'll be all right. Just keep her feet high and a head out of the sorter. <laughs> In second place, for her candied cucumbers, Mrs. Mary Jean Sullivan. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. In first place, for her pickle lily... Hold my arm, Grandpa. I'm feeling a little lightheaded. For her pickle lily, Mrs. Kate McCoy. <laughs> Mistake, sugar babe, you won her fair and square. Now maybe you'll believe us when we tell you you make the best pickle lily in the whole world. Well, you excuse me, excuse me, please. Mrs. McCoy, on behalf of Prize Foods Incorporated, here is your first place ribbon. Oh, thank you. Now, Mrs. McCoy, I wonder if I could call on you tomorrow at your home to discuss a business proposition. Well, I... My company, the Prize Foods of California, wants to put your pick lily on the commercial market. You see, we've been doing this sort of thing for Blue Ribbon winners for over 25 years now. It, well, you mean on, on store shelves? Exactly. And it will be worth your while financially. Uh, now, ain't you glad I talked you into entering? <laughs> Mrs. McCoy, what time tomorrow would it be convenient? Uh, about noon, perhaps? We'll be there. Well, I'll see you then. And again, Mrs. McCoy, congratulations. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> well, Kate, now what do you got to say, huh? Kate? <laughs> I'd like the smell of money to bring a body around. <laughs> 